Don't ignore this, SNAP benefits, otherwise known as food stamps, for the low income and the massive changes in 2024. I have all the details and exactly what you need to know right here in the video. Let's get right into it. I right, know in this video we're specifically focusing on SNAP benefits, otherwise known as food stamps, for the low income, which encompasses about 43 million people all across the country who do rely on these benefits every single month. Well, as a result of that, I do want to break down the details of some massive of changes for 2024 and what this means for every single beneficiary out there. As we know, there was a piece of legislation they were supposed to pass before the end of the year last year, 2023, and guess what? They didn't do it. Well, guess what they're doing this year? They're going to be passing it as they must be doing it, and it's also going to be encompassing some major, major changes. That's what I want to bring to your attention here in the video. Let's get into it and talk through all the details. Really fast before we do, thanks for joining me. If you have not done so yet, make sure to do yourself a huge, huge favor. Hit the subscribe button right down below the video. It is totally 100% free to do so, and I'm here for you right by your side every single day, watching the latest details, hitting the wire, all the bills, packages, proposals, announcements, Anything else like that popping up that you can possibly grab and take advantage of or that may impact you, your money, your benefits, your lifestyle, your bank account. Of course, I'm bringing it to your attention every single day in these short videos. So again, thank you so much for joining me. Do yourself a huge favor, subscribe down below, and also share this video with your friends from in social media. There's a share button right down below the video next to the subscribe button. Make sure to do that as well. And again, thank you so much for being here. I know it's a super busy time right now. It's a weird time and a lot of people are struggling in a major, major way. And we know that 2024 is all about you, the low income and fixed income. I've been seeing it for a very long time now. Just wait and see. If you think it's been busy so far, just get ready. It's going to get even crazier as we get closer and closer toward the end of the year. So again, thanks for joining me. Subscribe and let's get into it and talk about the massive changes for SNAP benefits, food stamps, and what this means for all beneficiaries all across the country. All right, so... It's just like, there's so many different things that are going on right now, right? Remember this much as well. In 2023, there were a number of different changes that happened to SNAP benefits based on what they had negotiated during the debt ceiling deal back in about May of 2023. Now, obviously that was a long time ago, but as a result of those ne uh, negotiations, starting in September and October of 2023, they had those changes as in the work requirements for ABAWD people, right? Which by the way, ABAWD stands for able-bodied adults without dependents, right? I made dedicated videos talking about that and I made uh, the details and uh, made you, you know, very clear what was going on, okay? So that was then. Now guess what's happening now? Well, they have that legislation out there that they must be passing uh, by October of this year as well, which again, October 1st, more big changes will be coming in. Now again, I totally get it. As of right now, October 1st is a long time away. However, this is coming in. This is not like a proposal. This is not like a, oh, well, we'll see what's going to happen. No, this is happening 100%. And between now and then, there's going to be more changes implemented to SNAP benefits. So let me tell you really quickly what's happening as of October 1st. And then again, let me tell you what's happening between now and then as well that I've been seeing in the headlines that they are discussing and will likely be happening as well. Again, impacting everybody who receives SNAP benefits. All right. So number one, First off, October 1st, this is very important and what I want to bring to your attention, which is the work requirements for, again, ABAWD, able-bodied adults without dependents, okay? It's going up to the age of 54. So as of right now, it is still 52 is what they uh, raised it to last year, but it's going up by another two years up to the age of 54, okay? So remember, this is simply means if you're able-bodied, uh, an adult without dependents, you and up to the age of 52 as of right now, but October 1st, it'll be uh, age of 54, you need to fulfill the work requirements. Otherwise, you can only get SNAP benefits for about three months out of every three year period of time. That's not very much, right? So I, again, I can make a dedicated video about uh, talking about that a little bit further. However, now let me talk about what they're going to be doing in this legislation, which by the way, it's called the Farm Bill. Does that sound familiar? It probably should, right? Reason being is, during 2023, I talked about this one, I don't know, a handful of times, maybe three, four, five times. I brought it up in different videos because we were talking about it. We were talking, 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 and they were supposed to get it done by the beginning of the new fiscal year. And guess what? They didn't do it, okay? They did not do it. They're supposed to. And then they passed a piece of legislation in mid-November that basically said, hey, we're going to push it out until September 30th of 2024 of when it needs to be passed now. Okay, so they pushed it way out until September 30th of this year. However, 
I know that still seems like a long time away from right now, but it's not. It's going to go by very fast. And the farm bill is a piece of legislation they must negotiate and they must pass once every five years. It was last done in 2018. It was supposed to be done last year and they didn't do it. Now here we are right now, right down to the wire yet again, okay? This will, which by the way, according to the farm bill, about 80% of the farm bill uh, encompasses SNAP benefits or food assistance programs, okay? About 80% of it. It's very important. My point is, I want to make this very clear. SNAP benefits will be changing yet again as a result of the farm bill. Now, what is it going to be like and what are the changes going to encompass? We don't know 100% quite yet. Reason being is they have not passed it yet. So again, I can tell you all the different things that they're talking about right now as far as potential changes to this farm bill, but we don't know those details yet until it is actually passed. Uh, simply meaning nothing is written or nothing is like carved in stone until it is passed through the house passed through the senate and signed by the president into law once that happens then then the changes are in place okay so that is very important but here's what they're talking about even though there are these new work requirements going into effect as of october 1st going up to the age of 54 guess what else is happening they're talking about increasing it more than that again I know, right? So anyway, something I want to bring to your attention because that would impact a lot of people, okay? So one re uh, work requirement, uh, you know, raising the the, rate, the age for the, the ABAWD, uh, again, able-bodied adults without dependents up to the age of 54 as of October 1st. And again, raising that again, they're talking about possibly 55, possibly even 56 or even more than that, okay? So we'll have to see what happens here, but again, it needs to pass through both chambers of uh, Congress and then also be passed or, you know, signed into law by the president as well. OK, so it's also very important. And we need to see what are they going to allow. But these are some of the changes that I can see out there right now. Now, there's other details out there as well that I've heard about, which could be uh, going into play as potential concessions for the work requirements could be raising the minimum benefit from $23. Yeah, a whopping $23 is the minimum benefit right now, raising the minimum benefit up. Now I've seen a number of different details thrown out. I've seen a minimum benefit of $95 a month. I've seen a minimum benefit introduced of $100 a month. And I've even seen more than that. Now again, going from $23 minimum a month up to say $95 or $100 would honestly be pretty nice. But would $100 a month really get anybody any necessary amount of food that they need on a monthly basis? Probably not, considering uh, grocery prices have gone up like, what, 20, 25% in the last, call it three years or so. Do we really think that's going to help a ton? Probably not really, right? But it's certainly better than $23, okay? So what I've basically seen about this is there's a couple of different things that they're talking about. Some people are saying, hey, we want to raise the full, re or not, um, we want to raise the, uh, the work requirement age up to you know, 55, 56, something like this. And then some other people are suggesting, okay, well, we don't wanna do that, but if we happen to allow that to happen, then the concession is, well, now we're gonna implement a minimum benefit uh, for those individuals you know, getting that minimum, okay? Up to maybe at all around $100 or so. So these are just a couple things that they're talking about as of right now, but I can tell you this much. Even though they're talking about all these different things, I guarantee you there will be other massive, massive changes to the SNAP benefit program that are going to impact all beneficiaries to some degree and why I want to continue watching it very closely because this is just what they're talking about publicly. Guess what else they're talking about probably behind closed doors and that they're uh, that they're not publishing or that they're not, you know, telling the, the American people about? Do you think there's more than that out there? I guarantee it. I know there will be way more than that, okay? So this is what they're discussing right now, and they're not even down to the wire yet. As soon as they get right down to the wire on this legislation, they'll be really cramming things, and we're going to see a lot more. But I do know this much. SNAP benefits, food stamps will be changing, and it will be impacting everybody to some degree, okay? Massive changes. This is a program that's only negotiated once every five years. So do you think it's time for them to do something to basically lock in the next five years? Yeah, they know that, right? If this were a, a per year different negotiation, then it'd be a little bit different. It'd be like, okay, we can let things slide. It's not that big of a deal. But when they have to do it once every five years, it's like, hey, we need to do this now to lock in for the next five years, right? So it becomes a way more important here. And most of this package is uh, directly focused on SNAP benefits and food assistance programs. So anyway, I want to bring this to your attention. I want you to have an idea of what they're talking about and how this may impact your benefit. Either way, I'm going to continue watching this closely, just like everything else out there. And I'll bring you the details as I get them. But 
as of right now, this is what I know and what they're talking about. Either way, I'll continue to watch this very closely. I would anticipate, as of right now, they probably will not pass this until probably the very end of September at the earliest is my guess. So that's still a long time from now. There's a lot of time for them to negotiate more details about this. And of course, I'll continue to bring it to your attention as I get that information. So with that being said, please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Make sure to share the video with your friends from my social media. Again, there's that share button right down below the video next to the subscribe button. Make sure to hit that as well and share this out. Otherwise, go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel, including those that I have linked down below in the description or at the top of the comments section. You can check out those videos as well. And make sure to leave your comments, your questions, your feedback down below. And until next time, enjoy your day. Take care. Thanks for watching. Truly do appreciate it. And remember, I'm here for you every single day in any way that I possibly can be to bring you the information, to advocate on your behalf, to do anything else like that to keep you informed of what's actually going on on for you and your monthly benefit. Anyway, take care, enjoy, and catch you again later.